स्टूडेंट हाउ आर यू ऑल होप यू आर आर फिट एंड फाइन टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू चैप्टर फर्स्ट ऑफ ग्रामर दैट इज नाउ इन शॉर्ट नाउ व्हाट डू मीन बाय नाउ नाउ इज अ नेम ऑफ अ पर्सन प्लेस थिंग और एनिमल इन शॉर्ट यू कैन से नाउन्स मींस नेमिंग वर्ड्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू ओनली टू टाइप्स टू काइंड्स ऑफ नाउन दैट इज कॉमन नाउन एंड प्रॉपर नाउन लेट्स बिगिन विद कॉमन नाउन now what do i mean by common noun common noun refers to a person place animal or thing in general for example girl city like i give the example like girl uh, this girl looks beautiful here i have not mentioned any particular name of a girl in general i am talking about someone that like this girl looks very beautiful second city this city is very clean here also i have not mentioned any particular name of a city In general, I'm talking that this city is very clean. Other examples are like tree, cat, book, etc. So, whenever you talk about any naming word in general, that comes under common noun. Now, let's begin with proper noun. Proper noun is a special name we give to a person, place, animal, or thing. For example, Aditi. Now previously I have given an example. The girl looks beautiful. Now instead of girl, I am just saying Aditi looks beautiful. So here I have mentioned the particular name of that girl. So it comes under proper noun. I am talking about a particular girl. Bhopal. Bhopal is a clean city. So here also I have mentioned the particular name of a city that is Bhopal. Here are some examples which comes under proper noun only. For example, that. languages like english spanish these are proper nouns days like sunday monday month like november december monuments like taj mahal uh, red fort books the jungle book the mystery of the cat oceans like the indian ocean the pacific oceans rivers like the river ganga river yamuna all these are proper nouns these are some examples of proper nouns and remember one thing proper nouns always begin with capital letter you can see here aditi starts with a capital bhopal starts with b capital now children let's learn about singular and plural nouns what do you mean by singular noun when you talk about any one person place or thing is called singular nouns like bag means we here we are talking about one bag table bottle so these are singular nouns now what do you mean by plural nouns when we talk about more than one person place or thing are called plural nouns for example girls chairs tables books now here you can see regular and irregular plurals here there are two kinds of plural first one is regular plural second one is a irregular plural what do you mean by regular plural regular plural means when we change singular noun into plural noun by adding s or es at the end without changing their spelling is called regular plurals now second one is a irregular plurals means when we change singular noun into plural noun by changing their spelling is called irregular plurals now let's learn more about regular plurals first See, most nouns change into plural form by adding s at the end of the word. For example, girl, you have added only s at the end of the spelling. Here also, doctors. So it is changed into plural form by adding s only. Second one, some nouns change into plural form by adding es. So these nouns mostly end with s. Double S, S H, C H, X O. Here are some examples. Bus. See, it ends with S. So here we have to add E S to make it in the plural form. Dress. It ends with double S. So here also you have to add E S to make it in the plural form. Dresses. See, brush. It ends with S H. So here also you have to add. Add es to make it in the plural form. Brushes. 
branch it ends with ch so here also you have to add es to make it in the plural form branches say next one is fox so it ends with ed so here also you have to add es to make it in the plural form foxes last one is a mango so here you can see it ends with o so here you have to add es to make it in the plural form mango mangoes so these are some examples of regular plurals here you have to add only s or es to make it in the plural form and here there is no need to change the spelling of the given nouns so children let's learn about irregular plurals once again what do you mean by irregular plurals so noun which change into plural form by changing their spellings are called irregular plurals here are some examples the nouns which end with y you can make it in the plural form by adding ies in the place of y for example baby you have to remove here y and you have to add ies to make it in the plural form baby babies same way baby ladies some nouns end with f or fe so in this case you have to remove f or fe and you have to add ves to make it in the plural form for example calf here you have to remove f and you have to add es to make it in the plural form calves so calf calves thief thieves so here you have to remove er and you have to add es to make it in the plural form now some in some nouns you have to change the vowels to make it into plural form for example man men here you have to remove a and you have to add e in see in the place of a you have to add e to make it in plural foot feet here in the place of double o you have to add double e foot feet foot feet in some nouns you have to change it completely for example child children here you have to add r e n to make it plural child children here you can see another example mouse the plural form of mouse is mice in some cases you can find same in the singular and plural form sheep sheep means whether you talk about one sheep or more than one you have to say sheep only sheep sheep same way deer deer okay here there is a no change in the singular or plural form some nouns are always used in the plural form for example scissors binoculars and some nouns are always used with in singular form for example news mathematics for example this news is very good mathematics is my favorite subject etc so children i hope you have cleared all the points of this chapter nouns their kinds common noun and proper noun singular and plural nouns and regular and irregular plurals thank you be safe at home